Hi there, and welcome to our latest installments on our Maker Education videos from Bliss Carbon Middle. Uh, today we're going to be talking a lot about little bits. And uh, these are really clever little tools for uh, students to get their hands on and get creating uh, very quick DIY electronic circuits. Uh, so before we get started, where can we find these kits? Uh, these kits are found throughout our school. We have this briefcase kit found in Mr. Lingley's room. Um, we have all of these kits found in the maker space in the library, but also on the maker cart in uh, Mrs. Lingley's room, we have uh, quite a collection of little bits as well. Today I'm going to walk you through just a base kit. Uh, this has 10 modules and it will literally allow you to create over 150,000 different circuit combinations. So we have everything from a battery, we have a buzzer, we have a power pack, we have a light sensor, we have a couple of wires, a button, a dimmer, an LED, a bar graph LED, and a motor. You can make things like Lego cars, uh, you can make things uh, like uh, light up glasses, uh, you could even make a a sound trigger for how loud your class gets. If your class gets too loud and your teacher is always saying, geez, I wish I knew when my class was getting too loud, they don't have to use their ears anymore. You can make a device that will tell them by using our little bits. So let's get into this idea of circuitry a little bit. A little bit. As you can see, there are different colors with our little bits. The green bits do something. The blue bits power something. The pink bits change the way that the green bits function, and the orange bits allow you to extend your circuit. Let me show you what I mean. The simplest circuit that you can make is one green bit attached to a power bit. Now, I'm not sure if you can see this, but on all of the little bits we have the connector circuits in the middle and strong rare earth magnets on either side that literally draw in your other bits. All you have to do is line up this small engraved X on the bottom of each of these little bits and they snap into place using the magnets. Now once we're ready to start our circuit, we simply switch on the on switch and there we are, our circuit is activated. That's a circuit with simply one green bit. Let's see what will happen if I throw a light sensor in there, a pink bit, and then we snap the green bit on there as well. We power it up. This one is set to light mode. When I place my finger over it, of course it senses the dark and it turns the bar, the bar graph off. You can see that the bar graph is uh, measuring the intensity uh, of the light sensor. And so the more light that I let in, the more light that I let in, the higher the bar graph goes. So that's pretty neat. Now we can easily swap out without turning the circuit off, swap out the bar graph and swap in the buzzer. Are you ready for this? Wow, that's annoying. So imagine all the things that you can make with it. And then finally the orange bits allow you to extend your circuits and you're going to want to be able to do this especially when you create more complex designs such as wiring a doorbell you may not want your little bit power source to be directly next to your LEDs and so these wires you can extend your circuits to any length that you want. To get you thinking about the projects that you can do I've assembled my favorite green little bits. In fact, I've assembled all of them that we have here at Bliss Carmen. There are things that make sounds, there are things that move, and there are things that light up. And I'm gonna take you through all of them right now. So we have everything from a bright LED, a buzzer, a bar graph, a number readout, a red, green, and blue LED that you can change in any color that you want a vibration motor, a DC motor, you hear that? Spin, a servo, an infrared LED that transmits a remote signal, a speaker, light wire. If you look really closely, it lights up blue. You see that? It doesn't make that sound effect though. 
So those are all the green bits. They will bring your project to life and allow your project to do something. All you have to do is figure out what. Now, all these are our pink bits. Now, if you remember, our pink bits change the way that our green bits function. We have everything here from a microphone, sound trigger, a pulse, a timeout, a roller switch, an envelope, a keyboard, a remote trigger, a slide dimmer, and even a button. If you use these in your project, they will change the way that your project functions and the way that users interact with your projects. Now, one of my favorite parts of using little bits is you need no computer, no internet, no smartphone, just a 9 volt battery and your imagination. We're going to talk a little bit about how you take your circuits and put them into your projects. Another great thing with little bits is they come packaged with an idea manual. If you're stuck trying to think about a project to start with your little bits, look no further than their catalog that takes you through, much like Lego, an instruction manual step by step on learning the basic projects that you can make with your little bits. If you're looking for some project inspiration, Little Bits has an amazing website where you can learn all about their product and that's located at www.littlebits.cc. Once you're there, you can take a look at how the Little Bits work you can order little bits as well. And in particular, what I enjoy looking at is the Maker Hub, where you can search thousands of projects that you Alrighty, and what we have here, we've got a very simple circuit that involves a power module, a sound trigger, and a DC motor. As soon as I make a little more noise than what I am, I bet you our project is going to start springing to life. And I bet it's going to ask you a question. Let's take a look! I love using little bits. All right, All right. All right. ladies and gentlemen, that is little bits. We're very excited to see what you are going to make with a little tape, scissors, glue, and imagination. imagination.